Betty Keji lives about 8 kilometers from Juba City. Keji and her family depend on this water for domestic use. South Sudan's capital Juba has no functioning water pipes. In some residential areas in the capital, water is distributed from privately owned tanks, but the road to Keji's house is so bad that water trucks cannot reach her. We need health workers to first help us, treat our children, then we need water. This is the water we drink and use for cooking. I'm used to it, but my children are always suffering from typhoid. Many people in South Sudan are facing a water crisis. Three consecutive years of higher than normal rainfall has flooded many boreholes. Residents in flood affected areas now rely on unsafe water for domestic use. As part of the country remain flooded, another rainy season has just begun and health experts are warning that cases of waterborne diseases are likely to increase. The World Health Organization says only 10% of the country's population has access to safely managed and basic service sanitation. If we take initiative of making sure that any water we, we collect, whether it is brought uh, from a water pool, in every area is that where we collect them. We make sure that it is boiled before drinking. For mothers like Betty KG, boiling water would mean spending more money on fuel, money she doesn't have. She hopes the government will build a piped water system that can reach her home.